Hey, AP Pregal, it's Ms. Kush. Um, just to confuse things, I am doing this section 111 in a weird order. <laughs> so you might have to go find all the different uh, components because I taught the end of the section first and now I'm coming back and, and, and picking up the pieces. So apparently I did this one a while ago. There you go. <laughs> um, and now I'll finish these last few examples and we'll see what we can do. Um, super, okay. Here we go. So what I see, I see that this is um, top heavy, um, and then we can factor this to, I see an x times uh, x plus 6, x minus 2 over um, x plus 6. Well, that was nice. And then x plus 1. I'm going to sneeze, you guys. Oh. Okay, so this is the g of x. So the I have a hole um, when x is equal to um, negative 6. So this would look like y is equal to x times x minus 2 over x plus 1. So what I'm actually going to do is I don't need, it's going to look just like it except it has a hole at negative 6. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use synthetic division even though it's not really an AP Precal thing, but I can divide by um, this little linear piece quite easily. If I fold, um, multiplied this through, I would get 1x squared minus 2, and then here's my constant. Okay, so bring this down, multiply, get a negative 1, combine that, that's a negative 3, multiply, and I get positive 3. And so this would be written as x minus 3 plus 3 over x plus 1. But as x gets ridiculously large, I have $3 that I get to share with a ridiculously large number of people. If I shared $3 with the whole world, you get not technically zero, but it might as well be zero. So your asymptote um, with your slant asymptote, y equals x minus 3. There is no horizontal. You will either have a horizontal asymptote or a slant asymptote. You won't have both. Vertical asymptotes, we look here and we have um, x equals negative 1. And they didn't ask for the whole, but the whole is when x equals negative 6. When I plug that back in, uh, negative 6 times negative 8, oh gross, is um, 48. My, do I know any math over negative 5? So negative 48 over 5, I think. But um, if I was wrong, comment nicely down below and let me know. Um, I don't care. <laughs> okay, which of the following of the graph is correct? Okay, the graph has one horizontal asymptote. Okay, let's factor. Um, I see 2x times x plus 4 times x minus 1 over, this is an x minus 1 squared. Yeah, okay, so that's, you would think, oh, it's a hole, but when you remove it, okay, so this is where I like to say, oh, it looks, it looks like 2x times x plus 4 over the x minus 1 that's left. Well, this is an asymptote. So the hole doesn't really matter. The asymptote trumps the hole. So we have, um, has one horizontal asymptote? Nope, because it's top heavy. So it has a slant asymptote. So we can get rid of the horizontal choices. Um, one hole? Nope. It has no hole because um, it, was, it was, so it's one vertical asymptote. There we go. Um, let's get a picture. Oh my. Okay, so as we go to, as x goes to infinity, as x goes to negative infinity, we go to positive. Okay, so we have one. We have an asymptote at one. Do, 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 do. As I approach from the left, oh no, that says negative one. Y'all, don't ever let your eyes get old. It just is not ideal. Can you see that better than I can? Yes, you probably can. Okay, we go to negative one, I lied, so here's our new graph. Um, as we approach from the left, we're going to negative infinity. As we approach from the right, we also go to negative infinity. Um, but then we have, as we go to infinity, oh, okay, hang on. I think what we have, I think we're gonna have a slope that's like this. And so as we go to, I think we're going to look something like that. Let's see. As I go to positive infinity, it goes to negative infinity. Yes, that's meeting that requirement. As I go to positive one from the, this is the right. Oh, but both of them go to negative infinity. Okay. And then here I'm going to, I think it's going to live like this. I don't know the equation of that mess, but um, I think it looks something like that. Let's see. Negative infinity, positive infinity. Yep. Um, negative one from the left, it's going to negative infinity. Negative one from the right, it's going to negative infinity. Yeah, sort of. 
<laughs> okay, I think that's the end of um, his section 111. So like, subscribe, comment, and, um, and go practice.